but right now it's star time! Hi, I'm Daniel Woody and I'm an engineer here at the Cornell Nanoscale facility where we make a lot of nanoscale devices. The nanoscale is very small. It's about the size uh, of about a nanometer or hundreds of nanometers at most. That's an exciting place to be. Not something you can ever see with your own eyes. It's so small that you really can't see it. Photolithography. Photolithography is actually where we print with light. That's what photolithography means. Photo meaning light and lithography meaning to print. So photolithography is printing with light. So every time you take a picture with your camera, in some extent you're doing photolithography. It's a little bit different than what we do here. This is a mask we use for testing the tools. It's got lines that range from 100 microns, or about the size of a human hair, down to about uh, two, one micron, or 1,000 nanometers. We shine the light through the mask, and either the photoresist is exposed or it's not exposed. Instead of it being, so it's either got light or it has no light. So again, that's why it's uh, black and white with only two colors, uh, either exposed by light or not exposed by light. And then we're able to take the pattern that's on our photo mask and have it appear on our substrate, and then we can use that to help build our nano device. Okay, I'm loading the photo mask into the tool. It's going to pick the photo mask up. That will then allow me to load my wafer in. Once I load the wafer in, I'll use these controls to move the wafer around underneath the mask to make any previous pattern on the wafer line up with the pattern on the mask. So now my wafer has been exposed and we can go and develop it, sort of like developing film. And the image we just shot in the wafer will appear in the photoresist. Photolithography. Or printing with light.